all throughout Raw. Kurt Angle tried everything he could to get Brock Lesnar to come to the ring. He even had Roman Reigns banned from the building at Stephanie McMahon's request, but his biggest threat was that he would fire Paul Heyman. Surely, if anything would rouse the beast into action, it would be the defense of his most strident and loyal advocate, right? Not necessarily. Not only was Lesnar completely unmoved by Heyman's plight, he made it perfectly clear that he tolerates Heyman's leeching, because it gets him paid in a tense backstage meeting, he only treated Heyman slightly less roughly than he did Angle when the Conqueror finally did emerge from his locker room. Heyman had been reduced to a pleading mess before Brock made his presence known, frantically admitting Brock is a bad champion and claiming he tried to rehabilitate. The Conqueror in Angle's image before falling to his knees and pleading for mercy from the Raw general manager. Brock's music hit and a relieved Heyman slipped right back into hype man mode as the Beast Incarnate dropped Angle with an F5 after almost zero warning. Constable, Baron Corbin, having already been punched in the face by Reigns after the big dog was banned, wisely hit the bricks, as he so often has, Heyman celebrated the champion's dominant display, only for Lesnar to grab him by the face and shove him down to the mat while the WWE Universe raised the chance of We Want Roman down on the Universal Champion. Of course, Reigns wasn't there anymore, and it remains clearer that Brock Lesnar answers to no one. Not the general manager, not his advocate, not the constable. If anybody wants him to stop this solution is as simple as it is daunting, somebody needs to stop him. The question is whether anybody can.